Hi guys, it's Em. Today I'm doing the start of a brand new series. Yes, the start of a brand new series. It's called the Creature Feature. Creature Feature is basically going to be a series where I bring home some of my animals from work and I basically tell you all about them. So I hope you enjoy it. This is the first in the Creature Feature series and today I want to introduce you to... La 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 la! This is Olaf. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that subscribe button, become part of the Creature Crew, and you'll be able to see much more Creature Features every single week. I'm going to be introducing you to some other colleagues of mine, such as Birds of Prey, some bats and armadillos, so you want to stick around. It's a cool place to be. And his name is Olaf because he loves warm hugs. I know. Just, just let it go. In case you don't know what this gorgeous creature over here is, this is a chinchilla. Where are you going, Olaf? You're just going to... You're gonna chill there. Um, today I am going to mostly be a rock ledge for um, for Olaf over here. Olaf is from my work, so he's not mine, he doesn't belong to me, and he was actually bred by one of my colleagues um, who had a couple of babies a few years ago, and Olaf was one of them. Olaf's cousins would come from the Andes. Olaf is about three years old now, but if properly looked after, chinchillas can live anywhere between 11 to 20 years. I know that's like a really broad spectrum, and honestly, there is a lot of debate as to how long a chinchilla can live. I've known them to be as old as 17 years, but I've also known them to die as young as nine years, um, just like out of the blue almost. Great. He's camera shy. Um, these guys are actually crepuscular. You might not have heard that word before. Um, crepuscular is basically waking up at twilight. Hello. No, not that kind of twilight. They wake up just before dawn and just before dusk. Basically when it's nice and cool. And they will come out in a big group. They actually live in herds. Yep, just like an elephant, they live in herds. They're very, very social. And for that reason, you should never keep them on their own. Olaf is never alone. He has about five other chinchillas that he can interact with. What are you doing back there, Olaf? Do you want to come down? Yeah, I thought so. So yeah, not nocturnal waking up at night, not diurnal waking up during the day, crepuscular, waking up dawn and dusk. They're a true rodent. Just like their cousin, the guinea pig, they're constantly having to chew. In the wild, these guys will um, will graze on grasses, um, various twigs and leaves, all this dry matter, and that helps to gnaw down their teeth, which are always, always growing, because they are a true rodent. <laughs> I am actually allergic to all animals with fur. Why can someone who didn't like animals be allergic to, to them? Like, why me? Really? Why? Why? Their hearing is really mega. Oh, your ears are beautiful, aren't they? Yes. And they can swing those ears forward to really hear things in front of them, or they can flatten them down as well, which can be a sign of stress. Those ears are also really great for cooling down. Um, you'll notice that there's not much fur over their ears. That helps to keep them cool if they do get hot, because as you can imagine, these guys can suffer from heat stroke very, very easily. Here's a fun fact for the girls. In the chinchilla world, girls reign supreme. The girls kind of bully the boys quite a bit. Um, they're very, very dominant with the males, so you'll often see chinchillas fighting with each other. And just one of the ways they like to fight with each other, apart from mounting and trying to show dominance that way, um, is they actually can shoot very very strong direct jets of pee at each other. Um, in fact, some chinchillas will do this to people if they're startled, if they're not very well handled. Yet that is something that you should be aware of if you're looking at chinchillas. You know, they, they can bite uh, and they can shoot a, a, a jet of pee as well. Also, just like guinea pigs, chinchillas will digest their food twice. They'll eat that hay, poop it out, and then eat it again. It's perfectly normal. Don't freak out if you see a chinchilla eating its poo. It's, it's not sick. They get sick if they don't eat their poo. So just let them eat the poo. I'm so jealous of Olaf's dense fur. I mean, I thought my hair was soft, but this is just on another level. They have the softest fur of any mammal, hands down. That's why it's so prized in um, fashion. Unfortunately, people like to turn these guys into coats and I really am not okay with that but um, that's not gonna happen to Olaf. Um, unfortunately, it can take up to 150 chinchillas, 150 Olafs to make one full length coat. I'm gonna try and give you guys a really great idea of that fur texture. It is just like, there is nothing there. Look how, look how dense that is. Look how plush and dense. Isn't that, look at that, wow. Now, although they're really furry on their bodies, their tail is actually quite coarse. Um, their tail is kind of more like a squirrel's tail, if you've ever touched a squirrel's tail. 
that fur is so dense that actually they can't have fleas or ticks so they're actually a very very clean animal um, ticks and fleas can't actually penetrate the fur because it's so thick in fact you know if I pull out like one of my hairs or if you pulled out one of your hairs you would have literally one strand of hair right that's not the same for Olaf with Olaf if you pulled out like if you well not pulled out but if you sort of ran your fingers through his fur let me see if I can do it now just really gently they do sometimes routinely shed as well you'll notice that if I gently gently groom and I, this is very gently don't don't freak out they do shed a lot of fur and from ooh, from each hair follicle they can have up to I think it's about 60 hairs so that's like you pulling out one hair and 60 kind of coming from the same one little dot on your head, the same hair follicle. So that is super, super dense fur. And because it's so dense and because of where they live, um, they can't actually bathe in water. They actually bath in dust or like volcanic dust. So if you buy dust in a pet store for a chinchilla and you put it in their enclosure in like a nice heavy dish, they'll roll around in it and they will flip around and really just have a great time washing. And that helps them to kind of keep their coat really clean. For a rodent, chinchillas have a really long gestation period. And a gestation period is basically a period of pregnancy. The average gestation period for a chinchilla is 111 days. 111 days of pregnancy for such a small animal is just wow. And when the babies are born, like I remember when Olaf was born, literally not even the size of a ping pong ball and probably weighs less than a ping pong ball. They're so tiny, they're just basically fluff. In fact, Olaf looks like he's really big and fat, but actually Olaf is super, skinny they actually they're just all fluff and most people when they feel them they basically disappear it feels like you're touching nothing you're just touching clouds magical chinchilla like clouds because chinchillas live in these rocky crevices during the day where it's nice and cool to escape the sun and the predators they actually have this remarkable ability um, to be able to sleep in almost any position um, they can because of the the nature of jaggedy rocks they can actually sleep upside down um, or on their side or leaning forward or even standing up vertically they are really really interesting animals they're so well adapted to their environment although chinchillas don't have you know any claws in order to fight back they do have a few defense mechanisms so apart from being able to bite and apart from being able to projectiles shoot pee as we discussed earlier um they can run super fast don't let Olaf fool you he is not a slow chilled out animal if he's in trouble he could bolt and you would not be able to catch him for dust he'd just be like like a race car there's also one other thing they can do in order to protect themselves they can turn their backs on you and make you feel like you're really boring thanks Olaf chinchillas have the remarkable ability to perform what is called the fur slip and basically imagine my hand is the talon of a bird of prey coming down to grab him from the sky so if I don't have a good enough grip and I close they can actually blow a bit of their coat big chunks of their fur just come flying off like almost instantaneously literally these huge clumps it's almost like you've just like got a pair of scissors pulled up a whole lot of fur and snipped it. That's exactly what it looks like. And that means that they can sometimes wriggle away to safety even after they've been grabbed. So yeah, really cool, the fur slip. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you for another creature feature very, very soon. Bye. Say bye, Olaf.